Ja. And I'm lifting it up. I, I use both my uh, inside finger and my left thumb grabbing the clay. Um, my right thumb is kind of uh, supporting it to get uh, stabilized and move it up. Cut it off the hump. I like to measure it, see, so that I know where is my lid width will be. I'm using a cotton wire to cut it off. Uh, 90 degrees here to push down from here. And you want to taper a little bit so that the uh, this part is a little bit smaller than the bottom part. It's easier for your lid to sit and then you just cut it off so this is a lid dig a hole here You lift it up I keep it a little bit narrow on the bottom part When you narrow it down, the uh, the top will become a little bit too thick, so uh, you can get a, a pops popsicle stick to uh, thin it down.
maybe not so uh, long, so I'm going to cut it a little bit here. Basically, it's throwing up a little bottle shape here, like a bottle. And the uh, spout, uh, I like to have a little bit of a curve, not so straight like this. So I'm going to bend it so that the, the spout has a little curve. So when you pour the water, it's much smoother for the water to flow out. And also to prevent the, clay, uh, the water from dripping from the tip of the spout. So uh, I'm going to bend it, but before I do that, I usually get a torch or a heat gun to uh, dry the surface a little bit so that it's not so uh, soft and not so sticky. Drying the surface so that it's not so shiny but uh, still uh, workable, still soft enough for you to bend it. You don't want to over dry it. So now I'm going to cut it from, cut it off from the wheel. Okay, so this is the spout and uh, usually I'm doing, when it's still wet, I'm bending it. So I'm going to bend it a little bit here. Draw a uh, line to tell that that's gonna be the middle part. So I, I'm cutting it in a little bit here. I'm kind of gonna use one of my finger reaches inside and kind of bend this part so that the, the whole curve follows through. Looks much nicer. So now you can see that the, the uh, spout of the, this teapot is a little bit more curved here. So when it pour, it's uh, the water is not going to climb up here from here and then it drip. That's what I mean, uh, making a curve, not instead of a straight spout here. <laughs> 